Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the session here today. Just a quick reminder before we kick things off, please make sure that you are muted so that we don't have any sort of background interruption while we have our employer presenters on the line, um, obviously presenting. Of course, once we get through their presentation, if you do have any questions, we will go ahead and address them at that time. If you do have any questions in the meantime that come up while the presentation itself is taking place, feel free to use the chat feature to enter your question. Excuse me, we'll go ahead and make sure to answer your question in the order that we receive them. With that said, we're also gonna be recording the session. So if there's anything that you need to go back and review once the session is complete, we will be uploading that to Illinois WorkNet. I will go ahead and put the URL in the chat for you folks so you have that before you hop off the line here. And with that said, we'll go ahead and kick things off. We'll turn it over to the Heartland Alliance team. I do believe we have Carol on the line to present for their team. So Carol, feel free to take things away. Thank you, Daniel. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Carol Liva. I'm one of the recruiters with Heartland Alliance. Thank you everyone for uh, being here today. Um, just a little bit about my background and my history with the company. I've been with Heartland for six years. Um, I started as a youth care worker and continued growing with the company. I became a program manager, then an associate director. Then uh, now I'm in HR as a recruiter. So with that example, everyone can see that Heartland is a huge organization and there is always room for growth. So with that, um, with that little information about my background, I also have Ryan Huge here in Samir. If you guys would like to um, introduce yourselves, please. Yeah, thank you, Carol. My name is Samir Al Hassan. I am uh, the recruitment director at Heartland Alliance. Uh, I am overseeing the HSCS Human Care Services uh, organization. We are actually five. Uh, organizations under uh, the big uh, Heartland Alliance organization. One of the main and the biggest organization is uh, our organization, Heartland Human Care Services. Uh, I joined the company um, six months ago. I came from Syria um, as, um, uh, you know, uh, let's say a resettlement program. And um, I believe that um, our organization is the best example how we, uh, it can embrace uh, um, uh, many people from many backgrounds. Uh, so um, I'm very, I have the privilege to work with this great organization that can help uh, other, uh, you know, um, uh, part of the society and uh, support our participants, with, uh, which are the mainly the youth, uh, you know, and uh, the the teenagers uh, all over, uh, especially in the in Chicago. So I will pass now to Ryan. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining. My name is Ryan. I am a talent acquisition specialist at Heartland Alliance. I did start my career with Heartland in November, so I've been with the company for four months, and I came in working as a recruiter for the safety department, which is a subdivision in HHCS, but now I have taken on the role in um, a higher role in hiring admin and corporate um, admin positions for HHCS, but still work very close with um, our safety department. So thank you guys for taking some time and meeting with us this afternoon. Thank you, Samir. Thank you, Ryan. Daniel, um, can you please go to the next slide? Great, thank you. So a little bit of introduction um, about Heartland Alliance. We work, our main mission is to advance human rights, uh, to ensure that all of the services that we provide, that we're promoting solutions, that we are uh, treating everyone with dig dignity, um, that we are ensuring that uh, we support our mission, which is to um, end uh, poverty as well, help with any trauma and provide stability. As my co-workers mentioned before, Heartland Alliance, it is, uh, is the um, 
then it, it is a non-for-profit, which is the main company. And then under Heartland Alliance, we have different divisions. We have Heartland Alliance, Heartland Alliance Health, Heartland Alliance International, Heartland Housing, and Heartland Human Care Services. Today, we're going to talk about Heartland Human Care Services, which is one of the biggest, is the biggest um, division under Heartland Alliance. Can we please go to the next slide? Thank you. So Harlan Human Care Services, it's, uh, as we mentioned, is HACS. Um, one of the programs that we have within Heartland is the safety shelters. The safety shelters focus on, um, on a company children program, which um, takes care of the kiddos that come through the border we provide residential care, comprehensive case management services, education, medical and clinical care for immigrants and refugees. And as you can see here, we have our, some of the core values that the company um, has, which is uh, the anti-poverty and then safety, stability, and as I mentioned before, the long-term success. So a little facts about the shelters. These shelters, we have different shelters here throughout Chicago, and uh, we mainly work with kiddos, children, zero to 17. Some of the programs work just with females. Some are uh, females and males. Some are like babies. So, um, so it really divides depending um, on the shelter um, organization. So a little bit of all uh, of the kiddos that we work with, these are kids that come through the border and, um, sorry, I saw some a question. These are kids that come through the border and what Heartland does is once we get uh, their custody through the Office of Refugee Resettlement, we start working on their cases, uh, which is contacting family members, the sponsors, and we ensure that the case management, during the case management with the fingerprinting background checks to ensure that they're not human traffickers and then the kids will be going to a safe place. While the kids stay with us, we ensure that the kids, if they have any um, mental health problems, traumas, we take care of that. We have clinicians on site. We have chefs on site that cook meals for them. We have um, case managers. We have youth care workers that ensure that the kids are safe at all times. Since these facilities are residential, we have first chef, second chef, and third chef. Um, and then Heartland has been doing this for 23 years. So it's very extensive. Please, the next slide. So here you see a little bit about the safety programs. So we have uh, the International Ch Children Reception Center, which is ICRC. We have, and that focuses zero to 17 females and males. We have um, Casa Hartman and Kristen. This one is only for females and babies. Then we have the International Children Center, which is zero to 17 right now, only males. Um, we have the International Center uh, Beverly, which is ICCB. This is uh, for males 13 to 17. And then we have the Opportunity Youth Program, which uh, it is a separate program, but it's under safety as well in the next slide. So for the Opportunity Youth Program. So this, um, it was before called the Manuel Sora Center, which provides pretrial uh, residential care and comprehensive case management services for justice involved youth between the ages zero to 17. And um, this is within uh, the Juvenile Detention Alternative Initiative here from Chicago. So we work with kiddos from Chicago that have been involved in the criminal justice system and they are on probation and they need some court services. So the kids stay with us until they have the nurse next court date. And we provide for them uh, case management as well. We have youth care workers that are monitoring them 24 seven. They're doing groups, they engage with the kids, they go to museums. Um, 
they do different activities with the kids until they have their court day. And then depending what the judge decides, we also um, help that transition into society. Next slide, please. So um, that is for HECS safety. Um, here are some of the positions that we have available. We have the youth care worker, family reunification specialist, mental health clinical practitioner. Um, we have added in here the start salary. This does not mean that we are going to pay that an hour because the youth care worker, I know it says fifteen sixty. That's a starting salary. That means that if you have a high school diploma in six months of experience working with children, which is a minimal requirement, then you will um, get paid 15, 60, right? But if you work second and third shift, you get an additional 55 cents. Um, some people that have a bachelor's degree or a high school diploma and more or years of experience working with children, that salary is going to change. Um, Heartland is also a union environment, which means that we have a union. We have um, annual races as well as really good benefits. And my Brian will be talking about this in, um, later on during the presentation. Um, for the family reunification specialist, um, we have we do uh, require for them to be bilingual in one year of experience um, of case management. This is because um, they are working with the immigrant youth. But we have a um, very like position as case management for the Opportunity Youth Program, which doesn't require for the candidates to be bilingual. Then we do have the Mental Health Clinical Practitioner, which it does require a master's degree. And um, I you need to be bilingual and have, be available, be applicable to get an LPC or an LSW within a year of hire. Um, can I please do the next slide? Thank you. Um, as you know, HACS Safety has, um, we provide a very extensive service for the kids that we work with. So we all also uh, have cook, nurse, program management, utility workers, driver positions available, as well as mentioned, you're seeing here the starting salary, but depending on your years of experience and your degree and your education, this will go higher. Um, the next slide, please. Um, here are a couple of more positions that we have available. We have director and positions. So the director of Opportunity Youth Program right now, it's open. Associate director, uh, it's also open in two of the programs. We have clinical director, clinical associate director, clinical supervisor. Uh, we have division coordinators. We have housing and workforce development specialists, data specialists, senior case managers. So as you can, if you can think of a position, Heartland might, might have it, not with HACS, but in the, other, in, in the other programs, we will have a position that you qualify for because we're such a big non-for-profit organization. Um, let me look through some questions before we pass to Ryan. See if you have anything for me right now. Um, one second. So for um, Barbie, I know that you're asking if all the jobs are on site. It depends on the position. Some jobs are hybrid, which require three day in office and two days remote. Um, it depends. We all, also have different um, jobs that are remote, uh, but they will ask you to come in the office maybe once or twice a week or once a month for meetings, or if the team is traveling somewhere, they will require to be a week with them um, in the different uh, events that we have. Um, are there any talent acquisition, HR recruiting opportunities in this virtual job fair? So Islam, uh, we do have uh, some HR positions open. Um, at the end of the presentation, we're gonna go ahead and put the link um, 
where you can go and look for the different positions, but the company does have some um, HR recruiting positions available right now. All of these jobs are on the website. Uh, it really depends if you, you can go through our Heartland website and then type HACS, it depends on the company. So you can either go on the website and look at the bunch of different jobs, but if you are looking for one for us, which is HACS, you can type in there HACS and the jobs will come up. Um, you can apply these positions through a link that we are going to show you guys in a little bit after at the end of the presentation. Um, and then uh, Samir will be putting uh, the URL in the chat for job seekers. Um, yes, so we are gonna be able to be contacted after the meeting um, through email. So we're gonna put out our email so uh, you can go ahead and contact us if you have any questions. Um, and employment, we, we have a bunch of positions open, so we're always hiring, and it depends for the program that you're going to be working on. Sometimes it does take two weeks uh, because some programs do have an ex extensive background check. Uh, we do DCFS, um, FBI, and Illinois if you're going to be working with kids. Um, so that is an extensive background, but we also have different programs that don't require an extensive background check. And uh, Ryan will be talking about it in a second. Uh, can we do the next slide, please? Thank you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pass the ball to Ryan. She'll be talking about the different the other programs that we have. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So as I mentioned earlier, I am a part of HHCS, more so on their um, operations side. But one of our main programs is the HEART program, which is Housing, Asset Building, Refugee and Immigrant Community Services, which stands for RICS, and then our um, Travels Aid Chicago. So we offer housing programs to help like people that are homeless and um, that have issues with, um, you know, say they were like getting out of jail, things like that. That's um, something that they help with at Heartland. Also with the homes, I would say they do, it's a two-year program. So if you need someone or someone that might need assistance with housing, um, whether they might have a background issue or be facing homeless or things like that, um, Heartland can assist with that. Um, as far as RICS goes, they provide case management and they assist with um, the youth and family services. And then TAGS provides the travel assistance services um, which are social services. Um, next slide, please. So as I mentioned earlier as well, our operations team, um, they are pretty much over everything that runs with um, HHCS. As I said, it's more so the corporate side. So they do learning and development. As I mentioned, we assist and we've helped like people that have background issues or felons um, to get back in the real world and, you know, prepare a lifestyle for themselves. Um, we also do safety and security, procurement, culinary. We also are hiring cooks right now, policy management and operations um, throughout the organization. So our main focus though in the operations department though uh, is to provide like a customer service model and to also help our candidates and internal employees grow and build within the um, company. Next slide, please. Some open positions that we have right now, if you were to come so more so on the corporate side of HHCS, we are hiring like a project manager. So you would be dealing with operations and policy management. The starting salary is $25.19. Um, this position is remote, but of course, if you had, and you see our qualifications listed below, PMP certified, bachelor's degree in five years in project management, um, as Carol mentioned earlier, our salaries are determined based off of your years of related experience. So, of course, if you had more experience, you would get a higher salary if you were just coming in new, starting fresh, or want to try something. Um, this this would be your starting salary. Another position that we have, which is more so on our rig size, I mentioned um, our supervisor, and the starting salary for that is eighteen sixty. And the requirements or 
qualifications is a bachelor's degree in human services, psychology, or social work, and of course, two to three years of related experience. Next slide, please. So these are just some open positions that we have right now with HHCS. We are hiring teachers, program supervisors, data specialists, a housing resource um, developer, housing specialists. Um, unfortunately, we just filled ours. Well, actually, it's a good thing. We just filled our associate director housing program, which is great. And the social service supervisor position, it is in O'Hare. So as we mentioned earlier, we are located at multiple locations throughout the Chicago land, as well as um, our suburb areas too. And we also have the youth employment placement coordinator, if you would like to assist with helping um, the youth, you know, get back in school or helping them with their job coaching, we're hiring for that, as well as immigrant case managers. Next slide, please. So these are just some of our benefits that we offer at Heartland. Um, I know sometimes I like to be very honest and transparent. I know sometimes working with a nonprofit, the salaries aren't always the best. But if you are someone who is into big on benefits, I must say Heartland Alliance offers amazing benefits. So we have 13 holidays um, throughout the year. You also get vacation and sick time, personal days. We have floating holidays. We have excellent medical and dental insurance. Not just saying that because I work for them. Um, we also have a FSA spending account and a wellness program, as well as Heartland has a lot of great um, partnerships and deals throughout with other companies, such as like car insurance. Um, if you like want to, if you travel, hotel discounts, car discounts, um, great benefits as well with that. Next slide, please. And, and like I said, tons of benefits. So we also have a mass transit discount. We have a great um, for with CCA for transportation. We also do tu tuition reimbursement, emergency childcare, 401, um, 401k retirement plan, life insurance um, policies, employee assistance programs, as well as our, like I mentioned earlier, our special discounted, um, offerings throughout the city, as well as car insurance, things like that, um, hotel discounts with, um, partnerships that Heartland has built with them. Next slide, please. So this is our contact information. It was such a pleasure talking to you guys. My name is Ryan. Uh, my colleagues are Samir, who is the Director of Recruitment Services, and Carol, who started, um, who opened the presentation. This is our link to apply directly with us. But if you were to go on Heartland Alliance and just Heartland Alliance Careers, you will see all of our openings there as well. So now I'm just going to pass the floor to back to Carol, and I want to say thank you guys for joining us. Brian, so um, I hope everyone, I know it's a lot of information what we presented to you. Um, so if anyone has a question, please, this is the time you can either uh, unmute yourself or write it in the chat. Um, also, we, um, if we don't get to you and you have questions, we, uh, you can also email us here in the, um, in the presentation right now, you're able to see our email. So you can go ahead and email us with any questions. Um, but I am gonna start going through the chat and continue answering some questions. But oh, Belinda, your, your camera is on. Um, oh, okay. Go ahead if you have a question. No, ma'am, I did not. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm, I'm just trying to work this. <laughs> okay, perfect. So let, let me go ahead and start going through uh, the questions in the chat. Um, so uh, it says, thank you for taking the time to discuss the role. Are you able to reach out uh, to you about the project manager role? So Kayla, yeah, you can go ahead and email Ryan. Um, let me see if I can put the email so it's a little bit easier for you guys to just copy and paste it from the chat. So let me see. That is Ryan's. And I'm going to go ahead and put my email as well in the chat. Okay. 
but if you want to go ahead and copy it, that's fine. Um, so yeah, feel free to reach out to any of us for any questions. Um, so for the next question, it says, I have experience working with children. What position will best fit with my experience? So it also depends what you want to do, um, Charmika. Uh, we have the youth care worker positions for first, second chef, third chef in the different shelters or uh, the Logan Square one. So we really, you need to think about your, um, the location because we have five different shelters throughout Chicago that work with kids. Um, the chef that you would wanna work, um, but I would suggest the youth care worker position. Yeah, as I mean, said in general, I'll say the youth care worker. Um, so for the other one that I see, I'm a certified um, pharmacy technician. Do you have any positions to do with pharmacy? We have clinics um, with Heartland and I, I don't know, Brian, if you have more information about the clinics that we have, but uh, with um, Heartland Health, I'm not going to percent sure if we have um, pharmacy ones, but we have like program assistants that deal with a lot of um, medications. Um, we can take a look at that and um, let you know in a minute. Ryan, could you look if we have any pharmacy positions available, please? Um, we don't have any pharmacy position available, but we are hiring like nurses, but that would be in our Heartland Health Department. As Carol mentioned earlier, our organization organization is huge but um we are hiring as far as like nurses and if you would like to do medical um clinical case manager that for that type um we are also hiring for th that department as well um my case management is more so like working with homeless or like um youth the youth 18 to 24 that might have had substance issues or um human trafficking carols as well immigrants refugees that's more so our um uh, case management, but we are hiring like nurses and things like that in our Heartland Health Department. Um, thank you, Ryan. Um, I do see Belinda said that she's been working with um, Delta Group over three years. Um, I know that temp agencies are great to start um, a job, but uh, if you go through us, you will be able to become a permanent employee and qualify for benefits. I know that temp agencies, um, when you go through a temp agency, you don't qualify for benefits. So um, you wanna get into the workforce directly through the companies. So you are able to qualify for benefits. Um, but Belinda, I would suggest for you to go on our website and uh, go ahead and apply. Um, What is the process if I already applied to the position prior to a best or job? Um, if you want to, um, I don't have your name, but it says iPhone. Um, if you want to email myself or Ryan uh, and just send us your name, we can look through the system and um, we can either, if you're in one of our um, positions that are open, we can go ahead and call you to discuss about it or we can contact our other coworkers, so they they know that you apply and you're seeking employment. So um, it would make it a little bit faster. Um, I would like to consider for helping youth with job placement. What will be the requirements for that position? I have a long standing uh, position in hospitality. Um, for the job placement, to helping the youth with job placement, that it's Ryan. Ryan, that's your field, right? Yes. Yes. So you can um, send me an email in regards to that. That's fine. Okay. Um, for the finance position, deciding from Afghanistan is acceptable or not? 
Yeah, all your experience is acceptable. Um, we do, Heartland is a very diverse organization. We work, since we are a human rights non for profit, we are, that's something that I really enjoyed. And that's why I've been with the company for so many years. It's because we're very diverse. We have, um, we work with immigrants, refugees, but also our teams are very diverse, which um, brings a cultural piece, which is great. Um, we have people from different countries working with us that have never spoken Spanish. And because they work with other people and the kids, um, they learn Spanish. Um, I have a lady from Vietnam um, that now speaks Spanish like better than I do. So it is a really nice thing. Or like when I work at the shelters, I learned a little bit of Portuguese as well, some Punjabi, Hindi, a little bit of, um, uh, what else? A little bit of, um, what was the other language? Like very minimal fra fra phrases in different languages. So yes, um, if you have a degree or your position, in any country, your experience works. Samir, as he said, he uh, just came to the country not so long ago and all his experience was in different countries. So yes. Um, Daniel, thank you for sharing the link again. Uh, I see that Lupe posted the email for Ryan. Awesome, Belinda. Yes, um, I work with uh, the youth care workers, so I will keep an eye for your application. And oh, Lupe, there we go. Thank you again for that, Samir. That's Samir. Samir is the director of um, the recruitment services for HSCS. You can find his email as well. Um, And when I said uh, experience with kids, I want all to be aware that it's not just working experience, but if you volunteer at your kids' school, if you volunteer uh, babysitting your family members, that also counts as your experience uh, working with children. So you need to ensure that you're adding everything to your resumes and ensure that the resumes are up to date if you're going to be applying, because in order, um, once you interview with us, what happens is that um, if the program decides to move forward with you, we look at the resumes and the salary specialist counts the years, the months, and that's how they determine a salary. So please ensure that you are updating your resumes before you apply and that you have all of your experience. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any of us we will be able to guide you and tell you maybe add this or take this um, just so we can uh, ensure that the process is easier for you as well for us. Um, so for the jobs you do, so um, for Clinton, I know that it says that I have a bachelor's degree, but I only have experience with operations and sales. Would I still be able to apply having a pre experience in the health industry? So I need you guys to also think about transferable skills. So if your resume is up to date and you have a transferable skill, that will count as your experience, right? Uh, so it depends on your resume, if you do qualify or not, but I need you to think also that there are skills that are transferable um, and count as well. Uh, the other one. So Gilberto, thank you for sharing this with us. Um, so it really, if it's that long ago, you should be fine. We look within five years, depending on the case, on um, the background. So um, some people do have some background things in there and it's been five years or it was um, expunged um, or the case was closed. So it really depends on you. So you can go ahead and apply and we can get you through there. Um, after you do the fingerprint and background checks. But if it's that long ago, I don't 
I don't oversee any problems. Thank you, Daniel. You also, there is a PowerPoint so you guys can download it if you would like. Um, so I see you guys are gonna email uh, Ryan. Okay, thank you, Nakia. I will note your name so I can go ahead and give you a call. Hopefully next week. I think next week would be best because tomorrow I have a bunch of um, different things that I will be working on. Um, I do see, I have several youth on my caseload, 18 to 25. You're looking for employment. Oh my goodness, that's great. Um, so the, the, um, the age requirement, it is 21 plus. So, um, and that is because um, we have to drive sometimes with the kiddos. Uh, so it really depends, but if you can, uh, oh yeah, thank you, Daniel. Dan Daniel just put in the link there. Um, but if you wanna email me, uh, please feel free and then I can work with you and we can go over it, each specific case um, or applicant. All right, um, any other questions? Hi. Hello. Yes, we can yes. hear you. My name is Eloise Green and I just got on. Um, I heard that you had some child development um, positions. And uh, I'm looking for a, an overnight, like a third shift position. What what all positions do you have, including child development? Okay, hi, Alois. So we we have for third shift. Third shift is 12 a.m. to 8:30 a.m. And we have third shift that, and this is again the youth care worker position um, that we have for third shift. And that is in Bronzeville. We have Beverly, we have Inglewood, which is more around Princeton. We have Logan Square as well. That, that's it because Rogers Park is full right now for third chef. But um, do you know the area that you're looking in for? Um, this uh, Bronzeville would be perfect. I've actually worked with Hartland before on your um, full resource. Um, so Bronzeville? Um, yeah, Bronzeville would be perfect. Okay, perfect. So I can actually, um, you can either go through our website or if you give me a second, I can put in the link in the chat and that will take you straight to the Bronzeville location. Uh, are you guys hiring for all locations? Some of it, depending on the chef, but most of them, yes. Um, we just got a grant and we're expanding programs. So that's why we do have a lot of um, opening open positions right now. Okay. But Eloise, if you, I just put in the chat the link and that would take you straight to the Bronzeville Third Chef um, application. It disappeared. Um... It disappear. No, Let me yes. see. No, just copy it and put it. Um, yeah, you can either I think double click on it and it'll take you to the application, or you can copy it and paste it. Okay. Any other questions? That's, that's all. I'm just doing my third position. Oh, that will be available. Awesome. Thank you, Luis. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Hi, Carol, how are you? I'm all right, and you? Good, good. Tell me your questions. Um, I'm just getting in so far. I'm, I thought it had started at 2 p.m. and so I got my um, notification, so I'm kind of late coming in. Sorry for the inconvenience. No, it's okay. Um, so, Harold, we talked a little bit about Heartland Alliance and how we are a non-for-profit organization working for human rights. We have a bunch of different locations throughout the city of Chicago, and we have different positions. We have from um, youth care workers, case managers, mental health practitioners, cooks, drivers, utility worker positions. Um, so it's really a, a huge um, 
pretty much a um, bunch of different positions that are open. So you can either go ahead and look at the different positions in the link that uh, we've been posting and we can repost that again. Um, and also uh, my coworkers, oh, Daniel, if you look through the chat, I don't know if you're able to see the PowerPoint, you can, you're able to download it and see the different benefits that we provide. Um, because we do have really good benefits. Um, so you can, um, oh, as Ryan said, we have a 401k and the company matches up to 3% as well. Uh, we have the 13 um, vacation days, holidays that we celebrate. And it depends on which branch or division from the company that you, you're working in. You will be getting paid double, triple, or get a floating holiday. So it really depends, uh, but we do have really good benefits, guys. Harold, any specific questions? Um, and where do I find these um, these jobs at? You said some so, links? Yeah, so if you look at the chat, you can go ahead and apply and click, double click, Daniel and myself, um, put the link in there. So you can double click or copy it and paste it and you'll be able to, it will take you to the website with one, two different jobs. And you, if you guys click, let's say uh, you do a double click and then look at the positions. And then let's say you guys apply on, um, let me look in it, uh, the cook position or the community health worker you will be able to read the summary in there, the um, responsibilities. And then if you continue going down, you will see the qualifications, the physical demands, the work environment. And if it still um, looks good for you, you can go ahead and apply. Okay, I'm not seeing any of that. You said it's in the link? Yes, it should be in the chat. Is you talking about where it says contact info and where to apply? No. Um, do you see like a little bar tool where it says chat? Uh, um, it should be in the toolbar. Okay, yes, I see it right here. Awesome. Okay. So go ahead and click there. Okay. I see it. And then uh, the two last are the same link. Uh, if you click on there or double click or copy and paste it, you, it'll, be, it'll take you to the website. Okay. All right, it says 153 positions that's available. Awesome. Um, I do see, Gary, that uh, you just asked the question. What I can go ahead and do is, give me one second. The Directors of Business Development. One second. I think that it might be in a different... Um, Division, give me one second. Do you know, Ryan, in which division that is in? Um, for which position? For the business development. For the business development, that's HA, so that's Heartland Alliance. Yes, yeah, so that would be Crystal I, or mm -hmm. another coworker. But if you send an email to either Brian or myself, we can go ahead and forward that email to Crystal for her to be aware. Thank you, Ryan. Um, any other questions? I'm oh, sorry, I still didn't get the, the link again to the child development um it didn't flash back up on the screen here let me put it again on the chat eloise give me one second are you able to see it right now i just send it um is this oh, give me one second the there you go now everyone should be should be able to see it i was sending a direct message but Did, are you able to see it? 
No, is it the, the director of business? No, there was some, somebody else. I don't see it. Give me one second. And I'm going to send it directly to you, Eloise. I'll just send it. Oh, in my email. Um, I, I send it through the chat. So I think uh, maybe if you look in the toolbox bar, you'll be able to see it. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so please go ahead and let us know if you applied, if you came to the fair, that'll be great. Um, we will also, um, Daniel is going to be sharing your email addresses with us. So you'll be getting probably an email probably next week with like the benefits and the link again um, and uh, our email. So if you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out to us. Before we leave, can I ask a question? I have I had difficulties uh, recording and listening to the, uh, it was on mute, but my name is Angelise Carlos and I was calling, I was trying to ask a question about, do you all have any positions for the community, like community navigators where, um, for example, that you go to different uh, agencies to go to uh, get, give the services that those agency needs or it's just, one, it's just, just within your agency only? not outside of the agency. Like a partnership developer? Yes. Yes, so we actually, I'm actually hiring for a partnership developer right now um, with HHCS and we are, so please go ahead and submit a resume ASAP okay. because we are trying to fill that position by April for the spring when we have events and things like that throughout the city. So who I'm talking to is Miss Ryan? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I will, I will be emailing you. My name is Angelise, okay. All right. That's what you. I wanted to know. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, guys. Yes. Thank you. Um, yes, David, there are remote positions and they're listed through Houston and Washington, D.C. And that is because Heartland not also has um, positions here in the U.S. and in Illinois, but we also have positions and we provide services in Houston and Washington as well in mm. different countries. Um, so those positions are remote and they're um, in Washington and Houston. But uh, if you look for the home study and post release um, company through our website, they sometimes have remote jobs or hybrid jobs as well. Okay. And they do require some home visits. So what was that again? What? The home visit, what what position is that in? So that would be like the case management, case manager positions that um, the home is studying post-release services uh, provides. And those are hybrid. Um, so you do, do some home visits. And I know also Ryan with breaks, I think you guys have also some home visits as well, right? Yes, our um, clinical case managers do home visits. And that's yes. where the, you have to have a, uh, sorry, Ryan, you will have to have a, a master, right? Not a bachelor. Um, bachelors, but they prefer masters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But they, I'm, and I'm going to stop talking. Based on the conversation that I heard before, even if, say, if you do not have a master, you have a bachelor, but you have the years experience with case managing, home visiting, uh, um, would, that, would that would be considerate? Yes, that's fine. Okay. You can have you can have a bachelor's degree, um, but you would need to have um, three to five years of experience. Okay. If you had okay. a master's, it would be okay. uh, two years of in two years of related experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So thank you for that, Ryan. And that is something huge that, yeah, um, in most of our positions, it does say bachelor's or master's degree. The mm -hmm. master's degree and licensing are mostly required for the clinical positions um, right. where when you are going to be doing counseling, right? So those mm -hmm. are the positions that really require you do have to have a master's degree and we're not flexible because we need someone that is going to get an LPC license or a LSW. 
Um, but then the other positions, if you have a master's and the years of experience or a bachelor's and the years of experience, it is like um, we are flexible on that. Okay. Awesome. Any other questions? Hi, Carol. My name is Roselia Suarez. And I have a question about if you have any position, because you talk about the human rights, uh, but I've been working uh, both with uh, Arrive Chicago, that is a non-profit organization from uh, Worker Rights. Do you have any position about that? Sorry, can you repeat like what position you're looking into? Uh, workers' rights. For workers' rights. Uh, let me look into it. Brian, do you know any of them? Um, for our workers' rights, I would definitely say that would be more so our Heartland Alliance team as they are more so hands-on with like the EEOCs and um employee or workers rights um that's more so their department because they're over all of ours so i would definitely um check out the heartland alliance department for um positions for for that type of position yes i, I really appreciate if you check that uh, also i already applied for uh i don't remember the position uh but it's in uh, logan square i live at avondale so if, uh, I don't know if you're going to call me for any interview or something like that. So, um, I wrote down the names so I can go ahead and look at the system. And we will, um, we look at the resumes, then we give you a pre-screening call, and then we set you up for an interview. That's our process. I don't know, Ryan, sorry, I think I cut you off. Oh, no, I was going to say yes. We... So with our youth care worker positions, we do get a lot of resumes um, as far as that goes with the um, Logan Square location. Um, the recruitment team will be looking through resumes. And if you do qualify or that you do have a um, resume that meets the requirements, they will go ahead and reach out to you. Um, but they're probably in the process of that now. Okay. And just in case that... Uh... I do not qualify for that position. Uh, if you look at my resume or any any resume, uh, so you can like find any position for us. Yeah, so like that's what um we do work with you guys very closely. Uh, let's say you don't qualify for one position, but we see your resume and we see that you really qualify for something else within our company. We will suggest it to you, but then it's really up to you if you will decide to go ahead and apply for that position. Okay, but yeah, we can definitely help with that. Thank you so much. So I would like to hear more about that. So yes, thank you. Give me until next week. Next week, I'll I'll get to it. This All week right. seems too short. Um, so any, any other quick questions? Yes. I know it's two so, of one. Yes, one more question. This is to Ryan. So if we did not apply for any um, uh, youth uh, specialist uh, positions in this other position that uh, on this on this line, this virtual that uh, I'm, I heard, can I just personally just send you my resume, or do I have to go online to? Um, send you my how, how do I do it because some of the stuff online I do not want but according to some of the conversation that we had today I am interested in a couple of them that what I would just want to be explored to yeah, yeah. Um, I'm uh, very open so you can either send a resume to myself or Ryan and we uh, can look at your resume and let okay. you know what positions you qualify so okay the links, and then you can go ahead okay. and apply Okay, thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I just highly recommend everyone, if you see a position, um, make sure you thoroughly read through the job description mm -hmm. and qualifications just so you're not, um, you know, wasting your time or anything okay. like that because, you know, people see a data specialist and they just want to do something remote. But there mm -hmm. are like, the Heartland does have requirements and qualifications. So I always tell people or candidates, you know, make sure you're really, really thoroughly reading through the job description and that you can meet those expectations. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Great. Brian. 
All right. I know it's two oh two. Um, if you don't, if you, if you have any questions and we were not able to get to you, please feel free to email myself or Ryan or even Samir. Um, you can see the email addresses on uh, the screen. Take a quick yeah. picture of it. Um, and thank you so much for your time. And uh, Ryan, I don't know if you would like to add anything else. No, thank you guys so much for your time. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to email um, Carol or I. All righty. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Just have one more. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, awesome, Mir. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your uh, your time. Really appreciate it. Uh, I just want to say we have a lots of uh, open positions, high positions, top notch positions, director level. Uh, managers, uh, youth care workers. So I urge every one of you to apply. This is, uh, um, you know, a great opportunity for you all. Um, uh, we have, you know, 130 years experience with nonprofit field. And um, I just want to urge you to apply and even ask your colleagues, uh, your friends to apply. Uh, if you want to, uh, you know, participate with us in changing people's life. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, guys.